Hey there friends, I'm Melanie and you're watching AKA Mommy. And today's video is going to be the next installment in my Finding Joy series. Now I started this series back in February here on my channel in which I'm sharing with you the process of me going through my entire house using the KonMari um, method and basically decluttering top to bottom, start to finish, and it's it takes a very long time. So. The area that I'm going to be sharing with you today is in my bathroom still. We're almost to the end of the bathroom, but today I'm going to be sharing with you my medicines and my essential oils. Now, I decided to link or to group these together, I hope for kind of obvious reasons. Um, we don't use a lot of medicines, but we do use essential oils in place of medicines, but we do have some medicine. Actually, when you get into the footage of this video, you're gonna see I had an embarrassing amount of medicine that was expired. Ugh, that just goes to show you that we really don't use it. I had completely forgotten that we even had it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this video started, but before I go any further, let me say that if you are brand new to my channel, then welcome and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoy your stay while you're here. And if you are a returning subscriber, then thank you so much for coming back. Okay guys, I want to try to keep this video relatively short, so I'm going to keep the this part um, as short as I can and just let you know, again, we're going to be looking at medicines and essential oils today, um, and just as a reminder, I did work through all of this several weeks ago. I did all of my bathroom all in one day. And so I'm filming the intro to this video long after it's already been done. And I will go ahead and tell you that the bathroom still looks pretty on point. I'm very happy about that. Um, so I've been able to keep up with the not filling my bathroom up with unnecessary stuff. So let's go ahead and get into the footage. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and sort through all of our medicines and our vitamins, the majority of which is kept up here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull all of this down, put it on the bathroom counter, and then give you a closer look at it from there. Starting over here on my right, we have some muscle aches and pains um, type of medicine, um, some just random bottles, some vitamins, more muscle stuff. Granted, as I've mentioned to you guys in, in the previous videos, I was a couponer. And so I literally got all of this for free a long, long time ago. But it has an expiration date. So it expired in 2014. Clearly, a lot of this needs to go. So that's primarily what I'm going to be doing is looking for expiration dates. Um, just some random stuff in here. Just more randomness. A drawer here full of... You know just the everyday type of stuff so i'm going to sort through all of here oh and this one as well here is an extra one more medicine so i'm just going to get started i'm going to ditch the stuff that is expired and show you what i'm left with all right friends that took a little bit of time but i am finished this is what is being thrown away isn't that sad that is incredibly sad. The one thing I will say about this is that I don't think I paid anything for any of that. So it really didn't hurt my feelings that much. Everything in that trash can is expired. Yeah, that's incredibly sad. We don't do a whole lot of medicines. I don't know why we. I felt like we needed so much. I'm not running a hospital here. Okay, so this is um, one of the containers that we are keeping. These are the not as frequently reached for items. These are you. These are mostly sinus or nasal relief tablets back here. Um, yeah, sinus congestion just for when you need them, but not very frequently. I have some stomach medicine back here for the kids. Um, I really like this for them a lot. And then this uh, is holding these. This is a cold and sinus medicine that came out of its box. And so I just put it in that little container to keep it all together. I kept our little smart relief um, electric therapy type thing 
that will stay in here. I've got an unopened box of allergy medicine for the kids and then just some vitamins down in here. These are my extra, my backup vitamins. And then I do have a prescription that I keep. Um, this is promethazine. When I get really bad migraines, I get seriously nauseous and so I can take promethazine and um, to fight that. So that is that container. And this is the ones that we use more frequently, but still we don't use a lot of medicine, not even on a daily basis. So this is everything that we're keeping. I'm not gonna pull everything out, but I will just show you. There's just things in here like acetaminophen. My husband takes a leave when needed. Um, this is the best um, heartburn relief I've ever, ever had. And so I'm keeping that. Let's see, down in here we have some allergy relief for adults. Um, headache relief uh, cream. That's a cream. Anyway, so forth and so on. That is what is in that. And then these are the vitamins that I take every day or the supplements. I do take a probiotic. I do take magnesium. And I also take my multivitamin. So... This had medicine in it, this had medicine in it, and all three of these. This is now empty, this is now empty and disgusting, will probably get thrown away. And that was full, you guys. That is insane. So, this box right here is actually a probiotic that my husband takes. That's his backup supply, so I will be keeping that for him. So, just this and this. And that's it. That's all that's left. I'm going to go ahead and put that away. And I, that will conclude the medicine portion of my KonMari process. All right, guys. So this is basically what I have as far as essential oils go. I do have what some would consider to be a lot. So we're going to go through this now. My apologies. I had to switch out my uh, camera battery. Okay, so I'm just going to briefly show you what I have going on here. And then I'm going to do some organizing more than decluttering because I can't really see me getting rid of any of my oils, but I will show you what I have. In here, I just have some miscellaneous oils that were previously in my kitchen. Um, most of them are like lemon, tangerine, citrus oils, lemongrass, and so forth, things that you would use for cleaning, but I needed to move them out of my kitchen, so I just threw them in here. This is a basket full of oils. It should be in, it should be that all that is in here are oils that have not been opened yet. So I have all kinds of oils in here that are still unopened and that's why they are in here. So I will go through and make sure that there's nothing in there that needs to be um, uh, thrown out, but I don't think there will be. This is samples of oils that I can give to friends or family if they need them. Again, just some random miscellaneous oils sitting in here. This is a carrier that is full of oils. Um, and then I have a second carrier here that is also full of oils. Oh, let's see. As you can see, all full. Um, again, I can't really see me getting rid of any of these oils, but I'm starting to think I may need to order another one of these or just something bigger to contain everything. So again, more oils, just random stuff. Let me put all those over here. Um, this is a diffuser. I will put it with all of my other diffusers. And again, another case. This one is, um, I put this in my, I used to carry this in my purse. Um, I really don't know why I stopped carrying it, but it has mama, mama. Yes, my love. What do you have? Rocks? Have you been playing outside, snotty nose? Okay, so, um, yes, more oils. So, I'm going to go through this, and then I will show you what it looks like when I'm all finished. All right, guys, so I went ahead and went through here, and as I predicted, I really didn't get rid of anything. Um, I had a couple of miscellaneous caps that I threw away, but that's pretty much it. So I have this container, I have this container, and I went ahead and ordered another one for all of this. So I will um, zip these up if I can manage it with one hand, and I apologize for the shadow. I also have some miscellaneous supplies over here, some labels, um, just some miscellaneous things. If you're not someone who uses oils, you won't care at all about this. So I will put these in the basket and I have to get this one zipped up as well. And then once I get that next uh, carrier, I will have one more carrier. And at that time, I will probably organize my oils a little bit better as far as by type. 
um, but for now this is going to work for me just fine. I switched out some oils that I use on a pretty regular basis. I love Valor. It's one of my favorites. Deep Relief, Tranquil, Stress Away, and Pan Away. I am going to put this back in my purse. I'm not sure why I took it out to begin with. And then the last thing is I still have this basket here. Hopefully it will focus. Um, and this is going to stay as is and I will show you where all, all of this goes in my bathroom. All right, friends, I wanted to go ahead and give you a quick glance at what my oils look like when it's all said and done. I did wait just a little bit of time to get that new carrier. So I'm going to pull that down and show it to you. But this is in my bathroom. This is the top shelf. This is the basket you saw me putting all the oils back into. And here is the only other basket that has all of my um, extra oils. So that is still in there as is. Let me pull this one down and show you really quickly. Give me one second to pull it down. Okay, so these are all of my oils that I'm currently using, basically all of the oils that are already opened. Um, I have not gone in and organized them just yet. To be honest with you, that will come in a later step for me, but this is the, um, the new uh, case that I ordered and as you can see I put all of those extra um, oils in here and these don't really if I put them in they won't close really well so they're just kind of laying right on top these two have not changed from the last time that you saw them um, they stay open for the most part simply because we get into them pretty frequently in the back of this basket I still have all of the other miscellaneous things and that is it um, let me go ahead and show you really quickly where I keep my uh, diffusers and then that will conclude the essential oils section of this process Okay, so this is just an additional cabinet that I have right here beside the one that I just showed you. It is a little bit uh, unorganized right this minute. I'm not completely finished with it, but I figured I would show you. Um, basically, this is real. This is what it looks like. So right here in this container, I have all of my diffusers that I'm not currently using, um, as well as the cleaning tools, all of the power cords and everything. And basically, it just sits right here. And when we need one, we pull it out and we use it. I have uh, two or three that are out in my house right now that we use pretty frequently. So um, those are kind of just back up in case the ones that I have break. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed seeing kind of my thought process of how I worked through all of this. <coughs> Excuse me. As I was working in my bathroom, um, I have some allergy issues, so um, I may need to go and grab some of those oils. Um, but I am so happy with the outcome of this project. I mean, literally, I kept only what we really will realistically use and even can realistically use. And then I was finally able to get a good handle on my oils and so now I can access them even more frequently and use them which is what I've been doing I've been using them all the time so again thank you so much for watching I hope that you have enjoyed the video if you have make sure that you give it a thumbs up before you go and don't forget to leave me a comment down in the comment section below this video and let me know if you are on your own KonMari journey if you missed my most recent video it will pop up on the screen for you right over here so you can watch that before you go and until next time you guys I hope that you are all doing very well and that you're all very very blessed take care bye